Fortunately, the new year begins with 11 people shot and three people killed across Indianapolis, and that's just the first few hours of 2024. Yeah, definitely a difficult start. The shootings happened throughout the early morning all across the city. Our Rich Nye joins us live near Michigan Road and 51st Street, where police found a crash truck with two people shot and killed inside. Rich? Yeah, Jenny and Felicia, we're in front of the Second Reformed Presbyterian Church on Michigan Road. And looking behind me, back to that intersection at 51st Street and Michigan Road, it's also Grandview Drive. You may be able to see where that pickup truck came through the fence, up this slight incline, up onto this berm, and grazed this tree before coming to a stop. Now, this happened about 6 o'clock this morning. It appears the truck was driving south on Michigan Road when it left the roadway at the stop light there at 51st Street or Grandview Drive. The truck appeared to hit a bench at that intersection, but then continued on for about 100 yards again up that hill where we showed you where it came to a stop in front of the church. Police responded to a call about the crash, but when they arrived, they found the man and woman in the truck dead. Police say both people had injuries from apparent gunshot wounds. The coroner will determine their exact cause of death. Michigan Road, was, uh, Michigan Road, that is, was closed in that area for the rest of the morning as homicide detectives investigated. This is now being ruled a double homicide. I asked the police for more information, but police would not say at this time if any guns were recovered in that truck or if they think someone inside or outside the truck shot the people or if this may have been a road rage incident. But again, a man and a woman in that truck were killed. And the first homicide of 2024 in Indianapolis happened just after 1 a.m inside a house on Boulevard Place near 31st Street, also on the northwest side. A man was shot and killed in what police believe was a family disturbance. A person was detained and questioned at the scene, but after consulting with the prosecutor, that person was released pending further investigation. And again, at least eight other people were shot on New Year's Day in the early morning hours, and I counted in police reports at least other 12 other reports, that is, a dozen reports of shots fired on what has been a violent New Year's